Now, um, another aspect of mood temperaments, because they're not diagnosed, is that people see the effects and they diagnose those and try to treat those instead of trying to treat the cause, which is the mood temperament. What are the effects? Well, if you're moody, if you're down, if you're manic, mildly, you will not often concentrate very well. That's part of the definition of manic and depressive states. And since the mood temperament's being ignored, those people get diagnosed with so-called attention deficit disorder. And uh, that's a mistake. Well, if you're moody, you get anxious when you're depressed or manic. Mood temperament's ignored. People get diagnosed with so-called generalized anxiety disorder, GAD. That's a mistake. Sometimes the depressive symptoms are so obvious that people use the label major depressive disorder, MDD, even though they really don't have full-blown depressive episodes that come and go. It's just constant, mild depressive symptoms. So my half joke is that when a patient is diagnosed with the false comorbidity of MDD and GAD and ADD together, they actually have cyclothymia. The treatment is not an SRI plus an amphetamine plus a benzodiazepine, which we see over and over again, which is the treatment for the effects, and that doesn't work so well. The treatment for the cause takes care of all of those effects, and that can be low-dose mood stabilizers like lithium, 300 to 600 milligrams a day, valproate, 250 to 500 milligrams a day. There's actually a little bit of clinical observational research to support that. There's not randomized data. There's not a lot of trials. So uh, one can't say with def a definite uh, confidence what the best treatment is. But based on the observational studies that are out there, which is my own clinical experience as well, low-dose mood stabilizers like lithium, 300, 600 milligrams, file pro 250 to 500, can really improve cyclothymia and hyperthymia. And then suddenly the ADD, MDD, GAD goes away.